Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the Titans' versatile running back. He was terrific a week ago, well over 100 yards and several stops in the The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Steelers offense set for their first possession here, and it's Kenny Pickett who will lead the way, the second-year man, Charles, from Pitt. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And some nifty running there. Ultimately, it doesn't get him a whole lot, but it does take him to the 45. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Pick it. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And Charles, you, you look at this defense. They were a very loose group coming into the week, knowing they kind of had the upper hand going into this one, taking on a team that hasn't won in a month and a half. And that works well for you. If you and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Harold Landry in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So now the Titans get their first shot on offense. And a look at a guy, definitely got a little razzle-dazzle to him. Can do it with his arm or his legs. They're mobile QB. Anytime anyone throws for over 300 yards in a game, you know their name is going to be considered for Offensive Player of the Week. And in the AFC last week, our guy got it. Yeah, he was the guy on top of his game. He'll try to duplicate that here in this one. So first and 10 now from the 30. Shedding the tackler, and it gives him some room. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there, nearly an opening drive, INT. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Going deep for Hopkins. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On third down, Curry. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Walked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And how about this, a fake? And this is caught, and the gamble pays off. They get the first. 27 yards, a big play there on fourth. I'm not sure that the surprise was that they actually faked it. That's classic territory to go ahead and do it. The surprise to me is that they were successful. I'm not sure the defense was really prepared. And now they're going to keep. Touchdown! A great play there. 
his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Titans will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They are currently mired in a losing streak. Now they get the short week for the Thursday night game. Do you see that as a potential positive, or is this just more in what has been really a string of bad luck for them? Well, to me, it comes down to leadership, and leadership's got to spin it into a positive and make it an advantage for them. Yes, we're in a losing streak. Yes, no one thinks we can win, but we have the resources we need right here in this room. Let's go ahead and play better. Let's hang together and shock the world a little bit put it all together they've got a chance of coming out with a W and this is going to be a Steelers first down as the tackle made at the 35 yard line ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10 working out of the gun it's Pickett and incomplete a drop there in the middle third of the field that'll bring up second down Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. Pick it now to throw off the play fake. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Jeffrey Simmons in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Pick it in the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. They're going to look to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll take it a few steps in front of the 50. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And they will take over first and 10. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. Curry flushed out right. That's complete to Traylon Burks. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. Second quarter now. Titans in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Moore, the man in motion. Well, here's a fake on the Jets sweep, and they'll look to throw it off play action. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And it's a Titans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Titans have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Folk connects on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They toss it to Warren, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. 
Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Third and long for Pickett. In trouble, and he's taken down. Harold Landry able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And he'll take it on this side of midfield. A good head down running on the return gets about 15 yards. And it'll be Titan football. So here are the Titans to take over on offense. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and 10. Oh, and now some space to operate. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. There are times on carries like that where he looks a little bit older than his rookie status. How many times have we talked when we've gone out to dinner about how precocious these youngsters are that come into the NFL now? They play at a higher level at a younger age. The stars aren't quite in their eyes as much as it used to be, huh? 44 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun. Curry over the middle complete. It's Hopkins. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. Looking to throw. Curry. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. DeAndre Hopkins, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Titans take a three-touchdown lead. Extra point up and good by Folk, and it's now 21 to nothing. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Steeler offense set to regain possession. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need... Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amani Hooker. And the return will stop right around the 25. Boy, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half, and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, They've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Operating from the gun, Curry to the goal line, but it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because... I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, 
That's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded right at the goal line. Oh, some strong running. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Now it looks like we're going to get a stoppage here. An injured Steeler on that last play. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Now pick it. And he is going to go down for the fifth time tonight. And this one is going to be a safety. Right now, they're just trying to get to halftime because they need a break. This game, it's been a shellacking in every way. And they just got driven backwards for a safety. So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Pulled in at the 24. The Titans going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And just inside of a minute left, Charles, they got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this, but you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. There's enough. And yeah, this is taken in at the five. Touchdown. A big play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Titans are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Full connects on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half, facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can... Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. That he's going to get this on down to the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Curry toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine. And it's a Titans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Titans will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the route is on here in this first half. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Things, unfortunately, continuing to implode here. The interception he threw on the previous drive, of course, led to the touchdown. And that deficit widening a little bit further. First and 10. 
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Room past the 35. And finally taken down at the 36-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Setting up the screen, Harris. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. Here's Pickett on second down. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This one incomplete and over everybody. Looked like a clear throwaway, but the officials, they're going to say there's a receiver over there in the area, so no flags, and it's third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. From the 22, here's second and eight. A final shot before break. Curry, this pass deep for Akakwo. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we've passed the halfway point of the season and now passed the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble and bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL, except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? Your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. Second and 10 now from the 27. A very good move, but for a short gain out near the 32. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Steps away to his left. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back to throw. Curry. That's caught. Left side, it's Burks. He's into space past the 25. Still going. Touchdown, Titans. Traylon Burks, 57 yards. And the Titans have got it on cruise control. Full connects on the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Time for the Steelers offense now to get set for...
Menu narration option is set to off. Possession of half number two. They'll start on the ground here on first down. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Pickett sets up play action. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Pickett will look to throw it here. It's brought in by Harris. And shedding through the tackle. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. To the air on first down with Pickett. And the Titan defense steps up here and down he goes. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Throwing on second and long. Pickett. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Pickett in trouble, and down he goes. And now after that sack, we'll pause here a moment because someone was shaken up on that play. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. Tennessee's offense back to work again. We'll see Traylon Burks. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, Make, you do. It you makes get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. On first down, Curry. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. Here now, second and four. Now a give, right side. It's Curry, and tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On third down, Curry, he gets away from one. And some space here. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 73 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Operating from the gun, Curry. Touchdown! DeAndre Hopkins from 13 yards out. And the Titans will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Steelers ready for their next possession. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That's good for a 
On the give, it's Warren. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL. Back now in Pittsburgh. And this is a blowout so far as we get set. For the fourth quarter, a very one-sided affair. Rudolph now to throw. Got his man, it's Warren. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll leave them with a third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Rudolph. That is caught. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now. But as you mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for replacements. Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Rudolph looking to throw. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines nothing's worked for them they've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements no gain on the play there and it'll bring up fourth down nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive agreed and they really needed that one for confidence just to feel a little bit better but i don't know if i would be daunted by them stopping me on one run this drive has gone pretty well i could come right back at them well, it's a Pyrrhic victory at best, but Charles, no team wants to get shut out, so it's hard to blame them for taking the three there. You can't blame them one bit. It hasn't been the best performance, that's for darn sure. But there is something to be said for fighting to avoid the goose egg, and they're at least trying to finish out strong. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Still going. Oh, touchdown, Titans! The kick return touchdown goes for 97 yards. And the Titans add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Full connects on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. Here comes a first down throw from Rudolph. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Now this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is, for this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. 
They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. On first and 10, Rudolph. Man open is Robinson. And in for the Steelers, touchdown. Allen Robinson, 33 yards. And the Steelers are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point right down the middle as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Chris Moore returning it. The return man, Chris Moore. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. CD, I mean, they have just been scoring at will. It's been score after score after score. And a lot of times we use the term blowout for a lopsided ball game. And this has kind of gone past that. We're, I think we're in historic territory right now. You nailed it. Historic territory. Perfect phrase for what we are watching. If this were a movie, what kind of rating would we put on it? Who would you allow to watch what we're watching right now? Let's hope this one gets over fast because this game well decided a long time ago. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Steelers' 36-yard line. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. Across the formation, Burks has it. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A big play that time on the catch and run. 33 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long, and I would say that going along with that has been... And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one? You're exactly right. Clean sweep. And boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Rudolph. And his throw's going to be incomplete. I think this one offensively, this is one where you just say, let's move on. Let's not even watch the game tapes from this one. Yeah, you might just want to throw it in the trash, act like it was never there in the first place. Yeah, just say we're good. I actually have heard of a coach in the past who took his team out to the practice field and ceremonially buried the game films from the prior game when they got clobbered. That was his way of putting it behind them. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And it's fielded at the 34. 
They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. What a game for him, Charles. Four touchdowns. Heck, for a lot of guys, that's a good season number. <laughs> You're exactly right. And let's face it, we have to stand up and applaud this one, even though we're supposed to be neutral, because this doesn't just happen by accident. This isn't four times where the defense just falls down or breaks coverage. He's worked awfully hard, changing routes, changing areas, changing angles, and getting open for touchdowns. We knew he'd be part of the game plan in a big way, and it has been in a very big way. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it looks like he'll throw here. His throw incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. They'll try the left side. It's Curry. And now the rookie's free. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit. But going for two in this situation... Somebody doesn't like someone else. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went. <laughs> I mean, you, yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No. No, okay. Rudolph on first down. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Eight sacks now. That time, multiple guys get to it. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. They'll fake the handoff. Now Rudolph. Now throw right side here. Going to be incomplete. Down several scores and playing behind the chains is not the way to have success in this one. Right now, if you're the offensive line, your big concern, protecting your quarterback and giving him a chance to try and throw something downfield to pick up the needed yardage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that went to the right side and incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan, and especially the execution. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. Throwing to start the drive. Curry going deep for Hopkins. And he's got it inside the 10. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on.